And Governor Abbott keeps pushing how Texas is leading the charge in vaccinations, but the story CBS4's Derek Garcia is hearing from pharmacies is the opposite. Derek's in the studio with a serious problem that could be only days away. Yeah, hey, Chris Faith, hundreds if not thousands of people quietly got their vaccine from small places like pharmacies and doctor's offices instead of waiting in huge, loud, long lines run by the county. But there's a problem coming soon. That second round of shots is nowhere to be found. So, but thank you guys. That helps a lot because, oh my goodness, yeah. when I tell my patients that what, what we're going through and what we're doing, mm -hmm. they tend not to believe us. <laughs> it's hard to believe the positions doctors like Diana Lozano are put in during the vaccine rollout. Dr. Lozano's office is one of many medical sites listed by the state to have or will soon get the COVID vaccine. And their instruction was to use all of it. Uh, use all of it and as efficiently as quickly as possible. She put in the paperwork months ago to get the doses for her patients. And in the first week of January, without a good warning, the state said, order up. And as quick as it came is as quick as it went. But there's a side effect with giving the vaccine. Frustrations and a lot of phone calls. Is it frustrating? to Not, not so much to get the calls, but knowing that you can't help. Yes, it's very frustrating because, I mean, just on the top of my head, I know patients who are too disabled or just cannot make it to these mass centers where they have to wait in line overnight to be able to see if they're going to even get the vaccine. 28 days after the first dose, the second round is supposed to be given. Next week, time's up. This puts some of her most vulnerable patients in a tough spot. Either wait for the state or wait in their car. Now, while Dr. Lozano was one of the only doctors who wanted to go on camera with us, we called dozens on the state lists, and many shared their same frustrations and are hoping lawmakers will get it together. Working for you in the studio, I'm Derek Garcia. Thanks, Derek. So far, the state hasn't said when or if they'll get another batch.